In this session, we will cover how to set up an intro for a course. So we're going to start at training.morphlearning.com or at the URL your company's given you. Log in with your username and password, and if you need help with that, please shoot us an email at support at morphmedia.com. We're going to go over here to the right. We're going to click on admin, and then we're going to go over to our course editor on the far right, and we're going to click on the course editor. So the course editor, you can do a couple different things. You can import a Word document, which we cover in another video, or you can actually create a course um, on your own. And so I'm going to show you how to create a course. We're going to go here. We're going to click on Add to Courses. And, and our goal of this session is really to show you how to do the first part. And in other sessions, we go through how to build topics and go through the course. But what I want to do is to give you an idea is how to build your introduction. So we're going to start over here on the right and this is the frame that opens up so we can start with our course and we're going to actually put a title on our course. So this is our title for our new course and that's what we'll put in there. You don't need to do anything about the summary. The system actually will do that. And so now we have our title. Now we actually need to add our contents. And this is actually our introduction. So how the system lays out is everything that's above Add to Topics is setting your course up. So it's your introduction of the course. Anything below Topics has to do with actually the modules. And so um, I'm going to show you what that looks like in a minute. So we're going to add two content tabs. And again, this is our uh, intro. So you, can, so you can type in whatever you would like in here. We're going to put introduction to the course. So that's our title. And now we need to add content. So we're going to click on edit content. And here you will put in, this is the intro. Here are the reasons to take the course. And of course you can add photos and things like that. We're going to click on finish. Now if you'd like to add an additional information, you can actually build other tabs underneath the introduction. So let's say we want to add another tab over here. We're going to go over to the left and we're going to add one more tab. So this is going to be our objective. So this will be the objective for the course. And then we're going to add in our contents. So we're going to click on edit content. And here we'll put in, here is the objective. And you have one, two, your three objectives. So we're going to save that. Now you may also want to tell them um, what they need to, to do to pass the course. So you can actually add another tab here. And you can put in requirement for course completion. So we're going to do that. And then we're going to click on the edit content. And we're going to add in what we need for the requirements for course completion. So we will do that. So they need to complete course, pass final with 75% score. Then we'll receive a certificate of completion. The certificate of completions are emailed to them um, when they complete the course. So now we have our intro and we're going to save that. And we're going to go back here. So this is our title for the new course. And here are our content tabs. So remember, we're not going to have any topics yet. And I'm going to show you what that looks like when we don't have the topics. So we're going to publish this. Once you publish, you need to make the course live. So now we're going to go in and assign the course. So we're going to click on Admin because even though we've published it, we haven't assigned it to any roles yet. So we're going to do that. And we're going to go down and find our course here. So title for new course. So now it's assigned. We don't need to do anything else. The system saves it. So we're going to click on our logo and we're going to go into our courses here. And there it is. 
So what we created in our introduction is here. So this is the intro. We have our next tab, which is the objective, and then we have the requirements of the course. When we click on continue, now we see we've assigned no topics in here. So that's the next thing you want to do is go and assign a topic. But that is how you set up your introduction for a course on the Morph Playbook.